all right welcome back guys so in the previous video we were able to create our first ionic app and we were able to import that app inside of visual studio code now if visual studio code is the only code editor you have like if this is your absolute first time of actually installing a code editor then visual studio code is your default code editor yeah but if you have other code editor it means you probably have some experience with coding okay so um, what I'm going to do is I want to close this Visual Studio Code and show you another way you can easily open up Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to close this up, okay? And right here from our command prompt, remember we are in the My First App folder. All we need to do is just type the command code. So that should be in small letter. So C O D E and add a dot or a full stop and then hit enter. So give it a few seconds and it will open that folder inside of Visual Studio Code. Okay, so you see here the folder is open inside of Visual Studio Code. Okay, now Visual Studio Code has its own command um, line interface or its own command prompt kind of. Okay, so let me just expand this. It's, it has its own terminal. That's the better word to describe it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, if you look on the top here, you would see terminal, right? Click on it and click on new terminal. And it will open up this Visual Studio Code terminal at the bottom here, okay? So whatever it is you can do on this command prompt, you can also do inside of Visual Studio Code. What this means is that from now henceforth, we're going to be using um visual studio code terminal to type all our commands okay so i will just minimize this and inside here i'm going to type a command so let's go back to our toolkit so i'll go and i'll come here okay so um remember that we started we created an ionic app and this is just instructions we moved into that directory what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to serve that app, okay? So I'm going to skip this um, process to add Android platform to the app. I'll do that much later. I'll just come here to launch the app in the browser. So just come to the bottom here and copy this command and open Visual Studio Code. And you remember, you just have to right click to paste in the command. So Ionic Serve is the command and hit enter. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do, I'll just put this, uh, minimize this a little so that we can see when the app opens in the browser. So it's going to take some time to open the app in the browser. So maybe I'll just pause the um, video so that, you know, it doesn't take up so much time. So I'll pause the video and wait for it to load the app inside of the browser. All right, so the app is opening up inside of our browser. So let's just watch the process. And all right. So the app is opened up. So I'm sure if you're seeing this for the first time, you're like, this doesn't look anything like an app. It looks like a website. <laughs> well, well, let's just um, let me show you how you can actually make it look like an app. So what you need to do is you need to right click and this is Chrome browser and um, I actually did not install Chrome browser but if at this point you don't have Chrome browser on your um, system please go ahead and install Google Chrome browser so just go to Google and search for Chrome browser and then download it okay so I missed that out so I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna click on inspect okay so the shortcut is Control Shift and I. So click on Inspect, and okay. So if you're doing this for the first time, what you should see is something like this: responsive. Okay. If you click on Inspect, you see something like this. Now click on this responsive and select a device. So if, for example, if I select the Galaxy Note, for example, it will show me the app in you know samsung galaxy notes but i want to have like a mobile frame around it so you can just go ahead and check for 
any of the options here that has a mobile frame for me i have a mobile frame on moto g4 okay so that's what i just did and i have a mobile frame around it so i think there is also a mobile frame for iphone is it 5 okay yeah so iphone 5 also has a mobile frame so let me try iphone 6 all right and iphone 7 okay so all i think all the iphones have like a mobile frame okay ex except iphone x so but i'm going to go with moto g4 because i'm developing for android not ios okay so this is what the app currently looks like on an android device okay and this is what we're going to be using to test our app so what i'm going to do is i'll just put this side by side so i would minimize i'll reduce the size of this one and i'll shrink this in okay so maybe i'll just bring this out and i would just click on these three dots here and then i would select this one dock to bottom and then have this guy at the bottom here okay so let's just drag this down as much as possible and then let's reduce this so that we can just have a small mobile device here okay and i'll just drag this here and then for my code editor i'll just bring it out up to this point just beside the browser and drag it upwards okay so this is how we are going to have our setup while we develop our app okay and basically thank you so much for watching this video um, in the next one we are going to start seeing how we can customize our app all right all right welcome back guys so i wanted to do this quick one to show you how you can actually add this device frame to your app okay because i realized that you may not actually have it so let me maximize this guy and if you look at these three dots here okay so initially let me just click on this one and restore it back so initially when you inspect when you right click and inspect in fact i think i should just start from the beginning so this is what the app looks like i'm gonna right click and click on inspect right and then it will show me this but for you it probably is going to show like this first okay and when you click on this responsive uh, maybe galaxy or something it will show something like this okay so what you need to do is you need to click on these three dots here and more options and then maybe i'm going to hide device frame first so because this is how your chrome browser is most likely going to be so even if i click on moto g4 i'll still get this app without the device frame so if you come here click on this more options and click on show device frame it will then show, add a device frame to your application okay so that's basically how you can add a device frame and then i'll just put this under so i'll just click on these options here and i would dock to bottom and basically that's how you can you know add a device frame to your application okay so that's just basically what i wanted to show you so maybe i should make this 75 percent so that's basically what i wanted to show you all right so let's continue um the tutorial um, the course okay